Oh, son of a bitch, Pidgey! Yeah! Come on, Pidgey! What's up, everybody? It's Taco Remix, and today- Oh, what's up, D'Artagnan? D'Artagnan! D'Artagnan! What is he looking at? I don't know. But today we're doing something really, really special. Welcome to Mobile Mondays here. To kick it off in our very first Mobile Monday, we're gonna be playing, of course, come on, Pokemon Go! It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm gonna start up here. This is a very first, um, first boot up here. I have played it on my personal account, but I'm now doing it on the Kinda OK Gamers account. This is gonna be great. Hello there, I'm Professor Willow. Did you know this world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon? Pokemon can be found in every corner of the earth. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies. Some live in the mountains or in forests or near water. I've spent my whole life studying them and their regional distribution. Will you help me with my research? No. <laughs> That's great. I was just looking for someone like you to help. I love how all the professors are named after trees. You'll need to find and collect Pokemon from everywhere. Now choose your style for your adventure. All right. You know, we're going, let's do, let's, let's do a girl. Let's go ahead and, we're not, we're not gender biased here. You can see in the screen that we got different, we got different skin colors. We'll do, we'll do fair skinned. What color hair? Oh my God. The blue and the purple hair looks so nice on this. Let's do, let's do purple hair. Why not? Doing that for turbo. Light blue eyes. We're doing that for me. <laughs> hat. What kind of hat? Oh my God. That black one looks pretty sick. Not going to lie. Or what kind of shirt? I mean, the red goes with everything, right? But I mean, I don't, well, the yellow. Yeah, that yellow looks pretty nice. Oh, shit. This is so cool. <laughs> Justin, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you, buddy. What goes, oh yeah, you gotta do, it's yellow, yellow, purple all the way. You gotta do it. I'm doing this for you, Turbo. Oh, it's, oh, a yellow. You got some, yeah. Get some purple stripes, some yellow. That looks nice. All right, the backpack. Oh, there's, oh yeah, this one's purple and yellow. This matches. This is, this is quite nice. I do like this. I'm doing that for you, Justin. Purple hair. Oh, should we do blue hair? Should we do blue hair? You know what? I'm doing it for Justin. Let's do purple hair. That looks nice. You all set? I'm all set. Oh, crap. That's a Squirtle. Here are some Pokeballs. These will help you catch one. Oh. Okay, so we got Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. Ah. You know what? So Justin's favorite Pokemon is Squirtle. And my favorite Pokemon is a Bulbasaur. So, um, to answer the age-old question, I'm gonna catch... I'm just gonna catch a Charmander. Yeah. Use your camera to find Pokemon in the real world. Yeah, dude, camera on. Check out my set. Oh, that's my microphone. And that's, and that's my woman's sock. Hey, Charmander. What are you doing? Oh, I am running out of battery. <laughs> Close. I'm gonna have to do this quick. <laughs> I've been playing a lot. So he's just chilling on the microphone here. Just chilling. And I got my setup going. Check that out. Oh, let's do some Inception stuff. <laughs> Hey! I said don't, Charmander, all right? Nice. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. Let's actually turn AR off. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. You could just toss it at him, right? Or you could do a little spinny move. That looks really cool. And you want to try to throw it as the ring is at its smallest point. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah! Hey, what the fuck, Charmander? See, he's jumping! He's jumping out of my way! Charmander, let me catch you! All right, gonna spin it, do a little swoop. 
Yeah! So we got him. And hopefully it catches him first time. I mean, it's kind of the introductory Pokemon, right? So it should be catching him first try. Awesome. Charmander was caught! And for every new Pokemon you catch, you get 500 experience. For every repeating Pokemon you catch, you're gonna get 100 experience, so. You're also gonna get 100... 100 star... what is it called? Alright, so you're gonna get 100 Stardust for every Pokemon you catch, and then three of that type of Pokemon's candy for every Pokemon that you catch. So, in this case we got Charmander candy. If we keep catching Charmanders over and over, we're gonna eventually be able to evolve them after 25 Charmander candies. So, uh, into Charmeleon, obviously. Alright, we caught him here. You don't need to see where that is. Uh, we could transfer. If you transfer him, you get another Charmander candy. I don't wanna do that. It's our first... It's our first Charmander. Let's name him. What shall we name? What shall we name Charmander? How about... Steve. Steve is a perfect name for a Charmander. Alright, Steve. I got you. Congratulations, you've caught your first Pokemon. You're such a talented Pokemon trainer. I don't tell this to everybody. Just you. <laughs> what should I call you? Alright, how about we name it... Uh, kinda... Okay... Trainer... Try something shorter. Let's get rid of the... Yeah, trainer. Oh, I hate cutting off words. It sucks. Uh, oh, what a cool nickname. Nice to meet you. You will need more Pokeballs and other useful items during your exploration. You can find items at Pokestop. They're found in interesting places like sculptures, sculptures and monuments. From now on, you'll be off exploring all over the world. I hope you get out there and catch Pokemon and register them in your Pokedex. It's time to go! That's funny, because it's Pokemon Go, and he's like, it's time to go, so it's kind of like, you know, when you put both of those together, it's great. Time to walk, move in the real world, move your avatar. Oh, look, we've already got, like, we got hella Pokemon near us. This is awesome. All right, let's go for a... Let's go for a Spearow first. All right, let's do it. So we can catch Spearow the normal way, right when it is at its smallest point. I'm trying to make it at the smallest point. Come on, Spearow. Click. Perfect. Spearow was caught, and because it is a brand new Pokemon, we're only gonna get we're gonna get 500 experience plus 100 experience because the Pokemon was caught in the first place. So, there's ways of getting even more experience than just the 100, um, with the whole, with the whole curveball bonus, which I showed you in the beginning. You're supposed to be getting even more experience, but I haven't gotten it yet. Siri, I'm not talking to you, right? Oh, we got, we're at 7! We're, we're at 7%! We better hurry up! <laughs> oh, crap! I should have done this when it was at full <laughs> battery. Alright, Zubat. All right, wild encounter with Zubat. Let's do it. All right, so typically when you try to catch a Zubat, it's really hard to catch him, right? It keeps falling short. Um, you could try actually dragging it, going up and then letting go, and that typically that typically throws a little farther. What I like to do is I like to do that little spinny attack, and then just kind of swoop, and then it always it always it's always caught him for me. Um, it might not catch him, catch him, but it always at least hits him. So that way you're not wasting Pokeballs trying to, trying to throw stuff at him. And then missing. Cause Zubat's flying through the air. What's up, D'Artagnan? What are you looking at me for? You got something to say? Alright, Zubat cut. That's 600 more experience. Look at us, we're naturals. We're up to 8%. We were at 7, now we're at 8. This thing's on a charger. It is just... I think because it's dispersing so much energy, and this game is really a battery sucker. All right, next, let's do Paris. All right, Paris, let's do it. Get our spin on, swoop! Nice! All right, so I got a nice throw. It really depends on where you hit him. I think you need to hit the Pokemon in the front, near the face. Um, and that's what does, uh, I think it's, Nice, great, and then excellent. Excellent, you get double experience, or at least you get 100 more experience for doing it. And if, uh, 
if you're in a crappy area or Pokemon servers go down, where you just you just see this Pokeball and it's just kind of just kind of waiting, not doing anything. It's just kind of doing its thing. Hey, Pokeball! We're gonna load this bad boy back up. Got a little nice Gyarados. All right, we're back in it. All right, so if you click on the very bottom, by click I mean tap with your finger, not the mouse. It was if you got some birds still. You see a couple, you see a couple Pokemon that are around you. So we have three footsteps on the bottom right, as you can see by the Paris. That means it's really, really far away. We see a Spearow has nothing. That means it's really, really close to us. Obviously, you have a Spearow right here. What up, Spearow? All right, this one has question mark. CP. That means it's probably really, really strong. But let's go ahead and try to catch this bad boy. All right, maybe it's not that strong because it's still green. Maybe they just sometimes do the question mark CP. I know typically the Pokemon that I've caught have had even more CP than uh, than what I was normally used to. Twenty-six. So I think it's a little higher than what you're supposed to you're supposed to be getting normally. Because we're still at level one, so we're getting super like super low level. Like you got Pidgey CP10, right? 22 compared to it's more than double what you're normally getting, so. Oh son of a bitch, Pidgey! Yeah! Come on, Pidgey! Yes! Pidgey was caught! And we got 600 more experience! 600 more experience! So we have 600 Stardust because we caught 6 Pokemon. That's great. We can actually power up one of these. That'll be great. Oh, and congratulations, you've earned a medal registered 5 Pokemon in the Pokedex. So we're just making experience all over the place here. And we're at level 3! Look at that. We're like, what, five minutes into the game? Ten minutes into the game? We're already... We're already level three? All right. So you see that it's probably... We have a Venonat that is one one footprint away, so I'm willing to wager that the Venonat is going to be right there. Um, let's see. Do we have anything that looks farther? Okay, you can kind of see the grass all the way over there. That's going to signify that we're going to have an Ekans or these two Paris right there. So I'm guessing that they're going to be over there. So it's very important to pay attention to your surroundings, especially when you want to catch some rare Pokemon, because you're going to see like a silhouette of a Flareon or a Jolteon, and you're going to be like, oh shit, I better go fucking run a couple blocks down that way. Well, I think that's about it. Um, I mean, if I if I walked over there, I'm in a house and I've got, this is connected to, to this, and it's connected to my computer that you saw. So it's like, uh... So, I mean, there's no way I can go anywhere. <laughs> Steve isn't our strongest Pokemon. What? But we did catch a Steve. So we have three Steve candies. So we can go ahead and power his ass up. Let's power up Steve. We got him up. Very nice. I'll do it one more time. 200, yes, power up Steve again. Get up to 38. You know, we and we keep leveling him up. And we get higher CP, and then we can go ahead and give him. We can now. Fuck, well, I keep can messing up. We can do gym battles if we level him up enough. So let's power him up just a little bit more. Steve is now CP 52. He is now our strongest Pokemon. We gave him three Steve candies, which is nice. We could trade him in and get a fourth Steve candy, but that's kind of going to defeat the purpose of using the other three Steve candies. So, all right, 52. Let's see. We got a gym over here. Where? What are we looking at here? This is a gym, a place where you'll test your skills at Pokemon battles. It looks like you don't have much experience as a Pokemon trainer yet. Come back when you reach level five. So it looks like we're going to have to reach level five in order to get some more Pokemon or Pokemon gyms. D'Artagnan! So it looks like we can't even look at the gym. That kind of sucks. Well, we're at level three. All right, now we have the shop. Speaking of gyms. So this right here at the top right, this is 
You need to assign a Pokemon to a gym to be eligible for a Defender bonus. So Defender bonus is going to get you 10 coins per Pokemon at a gym. You can only have one Pokemon in a gym. So if you have a Pokemon there, uh, let's say you have three Pokemon, you're going to get 30 coins, and I think it's somewhere around a 20 hour cooldown period. So once you have that, you'll be able to, uh, yeah, you'll be able, you'll be able to um, buy this stuff. And you can buy Pokeballs, you can buy incense, you can buy lucky eggs, you can buy lure modules. So lucky eggs give you double experience. Lure modules gives you, I think, double double rate on Pokemon. You can you can combine that with the incense because the incense follows you, but the lure module follows the Pokestops. It's all it's all it's all a thing. Okay. You got bag upgrade. Increase the max number of items you can carry by 50. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You can also buy Poke Coins if you're lazy and don't feel like putting Pokemon in gyms. So if you don't feel like playing the game, by all means, use your money. Oh, we got to level three. That wasn't delayed at all. Is that an Abra? All right, we're gonna end the episode by catching an Abra. That's gonna be cool. All right, Abra. We got this. We got this. Gonna spin it, give it a little flourish, and what? Son of a bitch! All right, enough messing around. Don't you just float randomly on me? Oh, that was super low. That was a super small circle. I know we got this. We have to have it. Come on. Come on, Abra. Ow! We got him. Perfect. That's awesome. Now that we got the Abra, we can name him. Let's see, what should we name him? You know what? You leave it in the comments what you want this Abra to be named. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna get 25 Abra candies. They'll get us a, we'll get us a Kadabra, so. All right, well, that's gonna be the end of that. I am at, I'm at 3%, so I'm gonna have to finish this soon anyway. <laughs> uh, gonna put this down here. All right, so that was Pokemon Go. You guys have already probably played it, played the hell out of it. You probably already know all this stuff, but I figured I might as well put my two cents in. Everyone's doing a Let's Play of it. I figured, hey, kind of okay gamers, we got to put a Let's Play of it too. Um, next episode, uh, I'm going to be doing some how-tos and all that stuff. And also, Justin, who also has this account, is going to be playing it around Disney World. So you're definitely going to want to pay attention to that. So Turbo's going to be playing at Disney World. I'm probably going to be taking this thing around Google. Have someone record me while I go around the Googleplex. That's going to be pretty fun. There's also some places around Google that I've also found pretty cool. So I'm going to be checking those out as well. Well, that's going to be it for us. Remember to leave a like. Remember to leave... Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, give us 10 likes. 10 likes and we're going to make the next episode of Pokemon Go for you guys. All right? Be sure to leave that like. 10 of them if you can. Be sure to comment. Tell us what you want the name of the Abra to be. And also, be sure to subscribe because it does help us out a whole bunch. And we will see you in the next episode. Peace out. That way it's a little easier so we don't have to keep going through all this bullshit. Alright, Bowser. Come at me, motherfucker! I am ready. <laughs> Move around! Those were from his pellets! <laughs> you idiot! What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs>